that. You got to do a movie? Sure. Here's Eric Sorensen telling me why the keel line of Grady White boats, designed by C. Raymond Hunt and Associates, are radius rather than pointed. Well, I'm glad you asked that question, Kevin. So what, what Hunt does with the bottom of their boat up forward here is it rounds off, rounds off the keel of the stem of the boat at the bottom, and that creates a couple of advantages for the hull. When the boat's running down sea, if you just continue this uh, hull dead rise to a point, you can see that you'd have about another six or eight inches of hull underwater. And when you have too much pro profile or cross-section underwater when you're running down sea, the bow tends to turn into a rudder and uh, hold the bow, hold the course of the boat, and the stern wants to steer around it. It creates a lot of yawing, which is called um, yawing down sea, which makes the boat harder to handle, harder to keep it going in a straight line, and it can even uh, get out of control. So for that reason, we have less boat bow profile underwater, makes the boat run better down sea or in a quarter inch sea. When you turn the boat around and run up sea now, you, have, you also have an advantage. This radius section right here is actually going to land when it hits, when it impacts a wave, it's going to land smoother than a boat that comes down to a point. So both up sea and down sea, we have an advantage created by this one little detail. That's just a, a refinement that Hunt has created over the 45 years since they designed the, well, 50 years really since they designed the first uh, early uh, Bertrams back in the early 60s in Miami to Nassau race winners. So uh, it creates a real advantage if you've got a Hunt home like this Grady White. Thanks, Eric. You betcha.